copy and paste control C and control V these are the combination keys that you can use to copy an object and paste it into a different location copy and paste are universal and they can be used to copy and paste content in between applications for example we can run Internet Explorer as running iExplore and we can copy a picture from the internet and paste it into paint so for example if you right click on this image we can copy and now we can run Microsoft Paint which is run by MS Paint and paste the image within Paint now we can modify the picture, delete parts of it depending on the application we're using for editing pictures we can also copy from Paint into any other application that supports editing pictures we can also copy and paste text for this demonstration I'm going to copy this text, copy and paste and paste it into notepad copy I'm going to run notepad and we're going to paste it there you go the undo and redo commands they they can be used to undo the last modifications you have done within an application or deleting a file or redo by redoing the last modifications that you have undone the shortcut keys are control Z to undo and control Y to redo so we're gonna go into paint where we already copied the pictures but we deleted the square and we're gonna press control Z and we have undone the modifications we have done earlier if we press control Y we're gonna redo the undo selecting and copying multiple items for example let's say we want to copy these files and folders into a different location we just left click and hold and we create a window around the files that we want to copy then we're gonna right click and select copy or we're gonna just press control C then we're gonna open documents and we're gonna right click or paste by pressing the control V combination key and the files get copied if you want to select only let's say icon cache virtual store and temp you have to press and hold control while you are clicking on the desired icons if you want to select the sequence of items you press and hold shift at the beginning of your sequence and then hold shift and press the last item in the sequence and so your objects are selected if you want to copy or control all the objects within a location or folder just press control A and all of the items get selected and then you can manipulate them as you want drag and drop if your computer is misbehaving you can drag them next to the window and then throw it out <laughs> no actually this is a technique of copying and moving objects around your computer so we're gonna go to the previous folder we used and we're gonna open my documents again I'm gonna move the windows side by side and let's for example copy a file by dragging and dropping you have two options either right click and hold move the file over here and as you can see there's a little balloon that shows you you are going to move the file to my documents if you press control it's going to change to copying the file to my documents if you press shift nothing happens but if you press alt is going to create a shortcut or a link so we're going to press and hold control and then we're going to release the right mouse click now by releasing the right mouse click you have a pop-up menu that does exactly the same thing as you were pressing control or alt to copy or create a shortcut or move for that matter and let's just say copy and we're going to copy and replace create a new folder if you want to create a new folder within my documents for example we're just going to click documents and we have the option of clicking new folder right at the top of the toolbar or we can right click on the empty space and select new from the new 
we're gonna select folder shortcut bitmap image and so on but for our purposes we're gonna select folder type in a name we're gonna say testing and that's how you have a new folder if you want to rename a file or folder you just left click once and the name is gonna highlight and you can change the name or you can right click and from the pop-up menu you can select rename or you can press the F2 function key and you'll do the same thing for renaming however if you want to rename a file you have the two parts in the name of the file the file name and the extension the extension is the identifier by which an operating system associates the file with a given application for example a bitmap is an image and it is open by Microsoft Paint or a JPEG which is also an image that is open by Microsoft Paint or a different associated piece of software like for example the PDF file which is the computer manual it's open by Adobe Reader we already discussed address paths but in this case we're gonna return to my document by copying this address path pasting it in the run command and we're gonna click OK to run it however if you see the error message here it says your username that is supposed to be the username of the account in our case the username of the account is user so we have to change that here to user so we're gonna delete name and it should work there we go so there we have my documents screen captures or screenshots for example if I want to take a screenshot in Windows 7 I have the option of pressing control print and then we're gonna run MS Paint and then we're gonna paste by pressing control V and we have pasted the screenshot within Microsoft Paint but we also have a new tool which is called snipping tool and we're gonna activate the snipping tool and we're gonna take a smaller screenshot as you can see you have this X and you select the amount and you have a screenshot now you just activate Microsoft Paint as you can see the little dot dotted line you can that means the entire image is selected you just press delete on your keyboard select this one press delete again and control V to paste the new screen capture here you have a picture of the print screen key on the keyboard just for you to know where to look when you want to take a screenshot if you want to take a screenshot just of the active window not the entire screen you have to press and hold the alt key plus the print screen key now we're gonna paste the information which you already did in MS Paint and you can see that we only took a screenshot from the snipping tool window if you want to take a screenshot of the entire screen you just press the print screen key and now you see we took a screenshot of the entire screen working with archive files in order to work with archive files you have to archive some files archiving is the process of compressing multiple files or a single file for the purpose of shrinking their size so we're gonna open documents and we already have some files here we're gonna select these three files right click on them and we're gonna select to send to and here we have compressed or zipped folder it is gonna automatically create a new archive and it's gonna give it the name of the first file we had selected we're gonna change it to a test archive and it's gonna contain all the files within the initial selection if we double click we're gonna find all the files in here in order to use these files you would have to go to file and extract all and then you're gonna browse the location where you want the files to be extracted click extract and it should be fine we have extracted the files and you can see we also created a new folder which is test archive and if you see this they have the same name only the icon is different 
So we're going to change the way we display items and we're going to select large icons. As you can see, we have test archive, which is a folder. And this is an archive because you can see the little zipper on it. There are other types of archives as RAR, ACE, 7-zip, and so on. You can see a few icons and you can download these archiving tools from online. Once you install an application like WinRAR, when you right click an object or a folder or a file, the right click pop-up menu presents you with the option of extracting or compressing the file. WinRAR senses if a file is an archive and it offers the possibility of extracting a file or compressing. I hope this was easy to understand and I would like to thank you for viewing. See you next time.